Can I help you, sir? Excuse me, oh. Where are my manners? Santiago. You're one of the, uh, Hernana brothers, are you not? Indeed I am. My dog is a uh, very big fan of your work. Who's your boss? Don Nuvola. Mr. Cloud. He's a uh, big man. Big investment in the uh, south side of the city. South side. I've heard stories from there. Care for a game? No, thank you. I'm more of a friendly observer. Well, Miss Santiago, they should speak to you. Sure can. Jump in. Uh <laughs> <laughs> 
It'll be over soon. Don't fight it. Don't fight it. It'll be over soon. Don't fight it. How long will it take? It'll take as long as it takes. Have a smoke. Please have light. Finish it up. Welcome, my boy. The negotiation went as expected, and the Hernanda brothers won't suspect anything. I used aconite. It'll make it seem like an early heart attack. Smoking, drinking, drugs, the life of a narco. Excellent. And the body? About a car. The idea was that the guy would find the body on their grounds, and the driver could have been thrown into a ditch. Aren't you underestimating our enemy's intelligence? We took him away because he made too many mistakes. Can't you see the irony, Santi? This gift was for you to earn. However, it's rude to take back a gift. you to listen 
closely. This gift goes with a price, a blood price. There's nobody you can trust or we can trust. Dawn, in seven years, have I ever failed you? You just did. There's a man standing in front of your freedom. His name is Luis Sacarius. I think our friend has made his days numbered. A barking dog who should be silent for good. How shall I do that? You do what you do best. I'll give you some poison. One drop of it would make him pass out. A glass of it would make his gut shatter. Yes, though. Do your best. Lie your way into freedom. Make him believe that I'm asking for a truce. Yes, Don. Oh, one more thing. You won't be alone on this one. Please, Don. I always work alone. There's this girl. She will be your accomplice on this one. Her name is Jill. She's new in the business. I want you to treat her as a member of Cloud. It will be done, my dog.
<clears throat> Hello, I'm Gillian Laurentia. You can call me Jill. So you're the new recruit? Indeed I am. Wonder why Cloud insisted on this. Thank you. Sir. Oh yes. Cloud left this to me. This one is important. I'll take care of it. Thank you. What is it? One drop in the... I understand. And what is this? The antidote. I've met Zacharias. He'll meet us in a restaurant west from here. That's where we'll wait. I know it's your style, but why go through this theatrical nonsense? On a such an important target, why not just go and shoot him? This is not a simple game. When it takes someone's life, you should understand who it belongs to. This could be the life of a criminal, a murderer, a rapist. Or it could be the life of a father, a friend, a lover. We do not kill for sport. We kill because it is our way of doing justice to the unjust. Shooting him would be a mercy. Serving just His punishment must be equal to that of his own crimes. Serving justice. In my ears, sounds more like serving revenge. They blend and mix. It becomes hard to differentiate one from the other. Zacharias may be a fool, but he's not easily let his guard down. We shall kill him in three easy steps. What steps? Step one. We wait. If the forecast from my lovely cloud is correct, should we bring no more than one guard? This should not be a problem for us. If the situation arises, he may have to be taken care of. Preferably poison. I wonder how. Step two. Everybody knows Zacharias cannot resist a steamy plate of food from my lovely Italy. As if the buffoon can tell the difference between store-bought food. I'll cook something in Sicily. Mm, one of my specialties. Meat, onions. Yeah. You'll go shopping, of course. I'll send you the look. I will be poisoning the main dish. You will be serving. I can do that. I'll have to take a bite of the food first. To establish trust. With a hit of the antidote in my system, I should be immune for a minute or two. Perfect. It is simple. You bring out the dish. I take a bite, I put that down, I put it already in the before. I can hide in the kitchen. You'll finish the food, you'll begin to die. Step three. Two exit points. One in the front, one of the doors. Hmm. Aside from that, just follow my lead. And behave. And three? We watch him flounder and flail till his last breath. We are done here. What are you getting out of all this? The satisfaction of a job well done. And if you don't mess this up for me, my pension and retirement from all of this. And then going back home to Italy? See. Si. All right, I'm done here. Thank you very much. See you next time.
myself. You're not focused. Yes, I am. Scarious. We want the same taste he is accustomed to. Sicilian food traditions has been passed down for generations and be followed to a T. These people, they value the taste of their food more than value the lives of their enemies. Soul flakes crash in a ball like this. Not too big, not too small, precise. Now, if you've done this correctly, the meat will absorb the salt and therefore will have a differentiating taste and seasoning between the meat and the onions. Seriously, Santiago, I know how to cook. Isn't it better if... Sure, you do the cooking, something. Do not call me that. I'm sorry, Santiago. Papi. I just don't know if I can handle all this. It's just if I make the smallest mistake, the whole mission is compromised. Why? Oh, why did Mr. Cloud insist on a girl? Like this, on a mission, like this. Yeah, the Johns. He's got his mysterious ways, doesn't he? No, Jill. No, he does not. You're hiding something from me. Okay, Mr. Cloud. He trusted me to help you do this, which means Doesn't I make will. Sense. Because why would you put an emotionally unstable bambina here? I'm not unstable! Why are you here? Tell me now, or grab that knife, slice your throat, so I may do the same, because the carrots will do it for us the moment you walk into this okay. place! Okay! Fine! Fine! When I was little, my parents died in a violent car accident. I don't remember anything from it, but I was told that a loving man who took me out of the wreck and saved me. And this great kind man called himself Mr. Cloud. I have some precious memories of them. And they are extremely valuable. But they are few. 
And every time when I start to remember again, they change. Until one day, Mr. Cloud told me what actually happened that night when my parents died. Of course, it wasn't a car crash. No, it was a lie. A lie to protect me from the big trauma. Stories of my father. My mother. <laughs> My beautiful mother. <laughs> she was so stunning like no one else. <laughs> when she walked in, everything went quiet. I can still remember her warm smile. <laughs> but nothing's too holy.
How oh, that bastard defied her. And that man was responsible for all this? Who actually enjoyed by doing all this horror? He's arriving any minute through that door. Everybody has a sob story. Does not make you or motivations any more justified for being here. Your father was an idiot for borrowing money from the mob. And you paid for it. But your mother, she did not deserve what happened to her. And for that, Zacharias will pay. Do as I say. I'm gonna need you to show some strength. Some true strength. Killing a man is easy. But to face your parents' killer, that's different. You're gonna have to go serve him dinner. With a smile. Because if you go there, and he sees the hate in your eyes, then we're both dead. And you join your parents in the grave. Just keep it going for a few more minutes. I want him to know that it's ready. So he knows we're not cooking fast food in here. Yep. I'll let you know what to serve. That goes last. Oh, I hope you can understand that a good chef takes her time in the kitchen. Her time.
do have what looks like that doesn't belong in the kitchen. Oh, this one is a excellent chef. <laughs> if that's the case, then I will ask Miss Cloud for a good sum of money for her. I didn't know she's for sale. Now, tell me, where is Mr. Cloud? Ah, yes. I do apologize. Mr. Cloud is running late. Strange, because I never noticed important men being late to important meetings, especially with the meeting has been arranged by the host himself. I must apologize. This I don't like to be played a fool! Sandy. Do tell. And speak truly. Where is... Mr. Cloud? I'm trying to tell you, sir, that a man of your status must understand that my dawn... He is preoccupied. I'm sure a man of your caliber can understand that, well, these things happen. Business. We all don't take care of our business bloody handed. Estás <laughs> jodiendo! Vincente, si este tío planea ganarlo por las pelotas, quiero que le tires un tiro por la cabeza. Would you please, sir, lower the gun? I said lower it, not load it. Not before you confess something. Yeah. Because I know that you know that Mr. Cloud is not coming here tonight. Now, I know everything about these sly little plans, you filthy worm. Yeah. I know that you didn't ask me to come here for a truth. No. I want you to confess something. I want you to tell me the truth. The truth? That you and Mr. Cloud ordered the murder and the killing of Marcelo Hernanda, aka one of the Hernanda brothers. Yes. Yes, we did. You're a clever man. Mr. Cloud is not coming. He's not sure he can fully trust you, which is why I am here. Yes, we, we planned the killing and succeeded. Only because the Hanan brothers have been behind the affections of the poverty and readiness. My Don could not accept this. Your truth says a lot about your loyalty. But why go through all of this? You must understand. Me and the Hernanda brothers, we had plans for the future. Because... We are offering more than just whore money. The East and the West. It sounds tempting. But why should I trust a man who kill other men's partners? Yes. The abductions brought daylight in the streets. The boys were foolish and careless. This job requires finesse. 
Now, with one of them gone, the other one is easily disposed of. After which, their territory should be yours. Mine comes with a price. The narcotic market must keep on flowing, and we ask for half of the market. It sounds to me you're giving me an offer I can't refuse. <gasps> Let us not stay here and discuss and be. Annoy with one another. Of course. I think we can come to an arrangement. Now, I was promised food, wasn't I? Oh, yes. Let me go check, make sure it's ready. What are we gonna do? Just follow my lead. Okay. Bury those memories, trust your instincts. Trust the process. Soon you'll have your vengeance. I can do this. I can do this. Good. Just follow my lead and do as you're told. Okay. This will be over soon. You promise? You're not eating. No, I had an early appetite this evening. Sure. Yes. <laughs> it smells delicious. Is there something wrong here? No. Then let us not take this opportunity away by not testing one another. If you'd like, I could take the first bite. No need for that. Vincente! Si, patron. Comer. Gracias. Well, I think I lost my appetite. Uh, let me see if I can fix something else. Santiago, your hands are shaking. Yeah, well, so are yours. We have to do something. There's barely anything left. Because that you would never act like this. What has Cloud told you about me? 
Doesn't matter. I was hoping to have a celebratory drink after all this, but... Fix it. Put it in the wine. You will drink every last drop. Disculpa, Madonna. No me va a hacer vicio. Don't take too long. Sir, a glass of wine? Hello there, señorita. Sir? Señorita. Have I seen you before? I think not. That's right. But I think I recognize you. It's not your smell. your eyes. Let me see closer. Oh. I've seen those eyes before. I've seen them crying. But I also see lust in them. I have a woman back home. She get very jealous of pretty faces like yours. So you know what I do to make her happy. I cut off every single part of the body. And her face, I keep it in a little jar full with alcohol. And once in a while, I enjoy a bit of it. And enjoy my enemy's mind. If you're not gonna drink the wine, I guess I might as well have it, Zaka. Don't ever call me that again. Or I will fucking kill you. I'm, I'm the boss around here. Not you. Señorita. What can you tell me about this wine? Look it up. What? Ah, answer the man. Yes, of course. Even though this is a musty wine, it has a fruity twang to it, which is complemented by the aftertaste of hazel. I hope it just tastes just as good as you. Un sabor que te da una sensación de rosas en la boca. Enjoy. Senorita, I like you. I like you a lot. Another one, please. Some music for wine. 
excelente. Señorita, no aguanto eso. That's my favorite! How did you know? Something. Something. Señorita. Benz. Something. From this day on, your face will be recognized in our territory, and we will watch our territory. I recommend it. you do the same. been sleeping.
E un'altra cosa, non sono santi, sono santi ago, intenso. No, no! Get out of here before the cops show up. Come on. Take my parents, <coughs> my innocence <coughs> was also taken from me, <coughs> and Cloud told me that he saved me. Saved? No. <coughs> uh -huh. He actually, he was the one who brought me in to this World of <coughs> Shadows! <coughs> He's the one who really destroyed me. <coughs> oh, sweet Vincent Jill. If I knew you wanted to go after the old man, I wouldn't have poisoned you. <coughs> <laughs> what? The cigarette. What do you mean? The <laughs> cigarette girl. <laughs> Please. I suspected the old man wanted me dead. I mean, that's why you're here. <coughs> no. <coughs> Where's the antidote? Where's the antidote? Oh, oh. <laughs> the antidote. I don't have any. Give me the antidote. Oh, oh. You listen to me. You give me the antidote now. Out of all the poisons we threw around tonight, Jill, 
The one thing I have nothing for. <laughs> I thought you read my file. <laughs> I knew, I knew the old man was gonna come after me. You're obvious about it. And you, you gave yourself away when you said you talked to him about me. You gave yourself away. No. Oh. Oh, damn. Damn. I thought after I killed you, I have to, because <laughs> I knew you were going to try to get me. <laughs> no! <laughs> uh, he did promise me no. freedom. What are you saying? I guess just freedom from this mortal coil. Do you mean that Cloud is getting away with all of this? No. Oh. No loose endings? I don't know about that.
I see red. 